Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome to another episode of Palladia Plays. Today, I'll be playing Torchlight 2. Now, this is a top-down RPG in the vein of Diablo-style games, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, one of the big things that separates this from other top-down RPGs is your pit. Everyone has a little pit like this. You choose them at first, and you can change them as you go a bit. Uh, but yeah, no, he fights beside you, you can give him different skills and abilities like yourself, and uh... Uh, he can also take stuff back to town for you to sell and buy basic stuff while he is in town, so it's really useful. You don't have to constantly work back to town to sell your spare crap. Because that's not fun. Nobody enjoys having to go back to town breaking up the action to sell the stuff. Of course, while he's gone, you are without your combat, buddy. And the more stuff you sell, the longer he does take to get back to you. And why am I quite Oh yeah, it might help if I unmuted the game. I should probably restart the video on that, but I'm not going to because I am unprofessional! Let's hear it for unprofessionalism, everyone! <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll try and make up for it with the rest of the video. So yeah, as you can see, my wolf there doing his thing. He has gear, just like I do. Uh, that's also, I'm an engineer, by the way. And this is my little bot. Later on, I can get gun bots, and I can get a sledge bot, and I can also get a, uh, mine bot. Because basically in any game that has the option to have a summoner spec, I will be a summoner. Or a hunter, or whatever has a pet. Ah, it's a bomb, it's a bomb! Really? That long of a fuse? That wasn't even sort of intimidating. I had so much time to get away. Maybe later on that'll short. No, I am at level 10. This is not my first character for this game. Uh, I've played a bit before, not a lot, but I do enjoy this game quite a bit, and I always thought it was kind of a shame that it didn't get more attention, but it came out around about, about the time Diablo 3 did, if I remember right. And Diablo 3 just kind of buried all of its competition, so... It's a thing, I do enjoy Diablo 3 too, this isn't any sort of criticism for that, it's just saying that I wish this had gotten more attention than what it did. Ah, it's working on the field, oh, sorry. As I hammer away, I <laughs> killed your ass, didn't I? A poison ring, a health potion, and a mana potion. Could you die? Thank you. I appreciate that. Very complacent of you. Money! Money should be falling from the sky! Ah, sorry. To those of you who get that quote, kudos, I appreciate that. To those of you who don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, that is an enemy and not part of the background. Wow, that was a that was a real bad me, wasn't it? Sturdy pants. I should hope my pants are sturdy enough. Well, that wasn't much of a stomp. Was it? Where's my butt? There's my butt. And then there's that just off guitar key, like. So yeah, there are all sorts of abilities. Uh, you have each class has their own set of abilities. I'll show you my skill tree real fast. Blitz skills, which appear to be mainly hammer skills and melee based skills. Construction skills, which is what I'm majoring in. Healing bot there, obviously Spider-Man's the blast cannon. That's what I keep blasting people with. Isn't it? No, no it's not. No, I'm lying to you. I'm lying terribly to you. Here, let me drag this down and actually put this on my bar. Oh, it's because I don't have a cannon. Never mind. You know what? Ignore me, everyone. Please feel free to ignore me. Let me just uh, get rid of that. I was wondering why I wasn't using it. And then later I get spider man and there's Gunbot, and... I'm silly. Requires a cannon. A lot of these are going to be cannon skills. And as you can see, right now I'm not using a cannon. I'm using a hammer. Which is actually really odd for me, because I usually use swords. And then we have Aegis skills, and that's like all your shield stuff. This is all your tanky stuff. Although having an immobilization copter would be pretty cool. Got a cool oh, it is a permanent summon. <clears throat> Sorry, aside from your healing bot, most of your summons are temporary. Like with the gun bots, every level you put onto it lowers the cooldown. But with the sledge bot, he's always got a constant cooldown. Which is fine, which is fine. You can't sledge all the time. Oh, that's what it was. Doggy, Doggy, I need you to be more effective at killing things. Please. Use those fangs, Dougie. Use them for the greater good. 
Or even just me, I don't care. Use them. Fight things, Ducky. Fight things all day long. Where am I? I am um, in the Wellspring Temple on the quest Protect the Guardian. That means nothing to you guys. Not a blessed thing. Maybe later I'll actually set this up better and explain it to you guys. But for now, I'm just doing a quick video. Identify scroll, yeah. By the way, did I get anything good before? Why are you poisoning? Poisoning, what are you doing? Four strength. Okay, that's a oh, poison armor and four strength. Alright, well. Give me. Give me our strength. So I'm using a hammer, so obviously strength is not a big thing. Because you don't finesse things with a hammer. Hang on, let me finesse you right upside your head. Ah, you're an elite. Let's dance, buddy boy. Yeah, take it. Take all of it. Take all of the fire. Fire good. Could you... Could you... <laughs> I feel like I'm attacking so slowly. Act sure. And there's my healing bot just going, you're dumb. A battle axe. Ooh. Is that better than I got? Nope. 81 damage, 65 damage, but that does swing faster. That's just one handed, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's just one handed. Meanwhile, my hemoir is two handed. It's French, don't question me. Stairs down. Peace! Oh, I've gotten a new skill point. Heck yeah. I might have been saving that. You know, it's been so long since I played this character, I was probably like, you know what? I'm gonna save this for later. And now I'm back, and I'm like, I have no idea what I was doing there with that thing. Yeah, I can put it in other places. Is it a flame hammer? Should I do a flame hammer? And I'm making you guys watch me do boring stuff. I'm sorry. Put a point in flame cannon for some reason. What are you? Five fire damage, five electric damage. Do, 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 do. do a full war. I ah, forget it. I'll save it for my actual next level up. I made you guys watch all that time and then did nothing with a point. Wow, that's uh, that's quality right there, guys. That's quality. Then I go back to hacking things and setting them on fire. See, and this is just the basic gist of it. I'll play for a bit longer and let you guys see more of the game. See if I can't get to the boss fight if I can't, then that is okay. But yeah, no, the art style this is very charming. It's very simple, but very, very fluid. Very animated. I'd say very cartoony, too. And I don't mean that in a negative way, either. I mean, it's very well done cartoony. It's like Saturday morning, up in your face. Where am I gonna put stuff? Am I going to put stuff here? I've been using Flame Hammer a lot, but I think once I get shot green, I'm going to switch out for that. But that's a long way away, ladies and gentlemen. A long way away, so... I'll drop a point in Bulwark. And a point in Flame Hammer, since I'm spamming the crap out of that right now. And then I have shit points! <clears throat> Now, I'm the weirdo who likes to keep my stuff fairly balanced as I go, usually, but in this case, I don't think that's a good idea. I need damage. Or damage. All the damage. I'll actually flip back over to stamina. Or vitality, I think it was after this. But for the moment, damage will be done! Damage will be done! Falgog! Take my damage right upside your head. Take all of it. Take all of it. Heal bot, make up for my stupidity. Thank you. Ow. Wow. From beyond the grave. Bastard Dillion. My doggy. Yeah, and then there goes my heal bot. Ah, I love my heal bot. He restored me and my wolf to a doubtful. But yeah, no, you have to be careful. I can't remember if your your pet dying is a game over or just very heavily frowned upon. But you should not let your pet die if you can help it. And I'm wanting to remember some situations later on 
where it's almost better to just have your pet back in town than to have him with you, because stuff gets really dangerous. Then again, this is still early. I can probably expect my pet to be more dangerous. But I can do that, can't I? For Werfer. If I could remember how to... Ah, there we go. Wolfie, can I really go to your stats, or are you just automatically statted? You are automatically statted. Well, shit. Oh, well. To Narnia! And beyond! And then it's that anticlimactic. I smack him once upside his head and he's gone. That was great. That was all kinds of great. Thanks for making me look bad. I actually forgot how fun this game was. <laughs> it's really simple in execution, but they do everything right. Uh, Wolfie. Wolfie, thank you. I'm glad you got over your stupidity. I'm trying to remember what my stuff does. Oh, I'm building up charges I go, and the more charge I have, the harder my abilities hit. That yeah, makes sense. There's a lot of money just laying everywhere. I'm like, ah, oh, you know what, take it. Forget it. We don't need it. We're dead. Yeah, and then my way of thanking you is to kill you again. That's wonderful. You can't even enjoy your afterlife because a jackass like me comes along and wipes you out again. Alright. It's hammer time! Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah, judge me. Judge me. Do it. Do it. Judge me for it. Hammer time it is. Heal, heal. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Stop judging me. Stop judging me. Heal, puppy. And... Ah, my cat is knocking everything over. Simon! Simon, get down! You little bugger! Don't die, pet! Did my healing bot die? No. No, not... Not my actual pet. Simon's fine. He's just trying to knock my TV over because he's a little booger. He's a fluffy little booger, too. Pet and mignon damage? Wasn't there something that wasn't usable until next level? Wait, why are you not equipped? Be equipped. There we go, I did that properly. Sorry, I'm singing to myself as I think I don't know how to do that, can I? No, I didn't think so. For physical damage. Uh, no, he needs more armor. He's already folding like a wet rag. Where was I? Yay! Die! Sorry. <laughs> that's, uh... That's my intelligent commentary for you guys. Telling things to die. Ah, well. I'm sure it'll get worse. No, bye guys! Fire damage can cause random... Can, I don't even know what the rest of that said. I couldn't finish it in time. Oh yeah, no, you know what, I'll go ahead and finish this boss fight, and then I'll call the end of the video. Hi, oh, General Grill. General Grill, you and I, we have words, big words, like, Al, stop hitting me. I think I just resummoned my bot by accident. Have some fire! <laughs> I'm not a pyro! I might be a pyro. I've been working on the railroad all the live long days. Okay, I'm done, I promise. I will not put you through that ordeal again. Get him off! Bottom! him! Bat him on the bum! Bat him on the bum all day! Ah! Ooh, ow. Stop spanking me, good lord. My safe word is safe word, stop. 
Come on! Yo, Anchor! He's just like, no, I don't have the mana. What are you trying to do? Kill things! Kill things with a hammer and fire! Yeah! I killed you dead! Mysterious sword, General Girl's Hill, Peace, Tall Bow. Tall Bow, a two handed axe, nice flame. Okay! And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Torchlight 2. Thank you once again for joining me, and I'll be seeing you.